Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial where we're going through some of the tools in Photoshop CC 2019. Today we're going to be going through the pen tool and I am going to say that this tool is maybe not classed as a beginner tool. It, it is a bit more advanced. Um, there's there's a, a lot more things that you can do with this tool than more than the the tools that I've shown you before so all I'm going to say is that it even took me a while to kind of get the grips with the tool so if you find something confusing or you feel yourself getting frustrated I would just recommend that you kind of take the video back and just like watch the step again so yeah I would just, I'm just saying that it's maybe just a bit more of an advanced tool you can select the pen tool just by pressing the P on your keyboard and then it will automatically select that tool for you and what you, what you can do with this tool you can hit a left click and what it will do is it will come up with this square and what that square is is it's a mark and if you click on another point it will leave another mark and it will join these two marks together so technically with the pen tool you can make any shape you want just by making these points and these marks for squares then when you want to close off a shape you can just come back and you can click on the end square here and as you can see next to the pen tool um, a little circle will appear like so and that just means that it's closing off the shape once you've closed off the shape that you want press the right click and there'll be a few options that you can select of course these tutorials in this series um, I've stated that it's just the basics I'm just showing you the basics of the tools I'm not trying to go into too much depth and confuse people so we're not going to go through ev what every single option does but we'll do a couple of things just so you're comfortable with the tool now of course if you don't like the shape that you've done you can delete the path and that will just get rid of what you've done make selection if you click on make selection and what this allows you to do is if you press ok it will turn your shape into a selection like so and from here you can fill it so um, we've got the the gold color here and our background color over here so what we could do is we can hold down control and press backspace and what that does is it fills the shape that we've selected if we move this shape over here, we can do that once more, but if we change our four colour to a black, just so you can see it on our white background. Remember the letter P to get to the tool, and then let's just quickly make another shape, but I'm going to show you something else. So as you can see, we're, we're clicking in our marks and we're just making random shapes like so, what we've done before. But with this shape, I feel like I don't want something blocky. I want there to be a couple of curves. What we can do is we can do our first mark and instead of just clicking, click and hold down. And that allows us to move this line where we want. So we can move it and curve it here. And then we could hold down a mark here. And then we could do one here maybe. So if you are to click and hold down, you have the option to make these clean curves. And then of course, if you just click, it will make the end of the curve for you. And then because you've not actually held down on this one, from here, it will just go back to the, the straight marks that we made in the beginning. So we can join this one up here with just a straight one. Remember, right click, make selection press OK so you can see the selection around the shape and then we want this one to be the black the four color so we're going to hold down alt and press backspace and then, then of course to get rid of the selection around the shape you can hold down control and press D which stands for deselect so yeah that's two two little basic things with the pen tool that you can do you can make straight lines by pressing marks and then if you hold down on a point it allows you to make a curve and this allows you to just make your own custom shapes 
Right, so we're going to get rid of these two shapes because I'm going to go. Sh I'm showing you um, another interesting fact. So, if we've got a mark here, but we want to make a shape that's got a, a straight line, and we want to make sure that it is straight, of course we can use our eye. But you know that was me just guessing, and it's still bent. You hold down the shift button, and you click over here. It makes sure that it is straight. So even if we was to put our mouse here and then just go a little bit up and move over, so we know that that's not straight, but it's bent. But if we hold down the shift, it automatically makes it straight for you. So you can hold down the shift button going vertically, horizontally, and also at 45 degrees as well. So if we was to put it roughly where we think 45 degrees is, as you can see, I was well off. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so it makes it it makes sure that them angles are to perfection and then of course you can do vertically as well so all, if you want to make a shape where you know you've got you've got these perfect angles just make sure you've always got your finger on the shift button right so I've quickly just made a shape just to show you another basic thing that you can do with a pen tool and that's if you right click on the shape as we've been doing before we've been doing the make selection and filling it in um, you can also use the the fill path which is you can select your background your foreground colors or you can choose a color of your own so it's just choose a red um, and then you can you know the opacity and then you can click ok and it will fill that for you so you don't have to go through the whole make a selection which I was showing you before and then also you have the stroke path which is what that's going to do is it's going to just make a stroke along all, all the lines that you've made between all of the anchor points so you can click whatever kind of tool you want but what I suggest you do is sort out your brush before you fill it in so go on your brush tool as you can see I've got this selected so it would make a complete mess so you want to select you know you want to make sure that you've got something that's that's going to look nice when it when it fills all of these lines in so I think even that's a bit too thick so let's just fill it in if we put it to 25 points then I think that's a nice thickness so now we've got our, our brush tool sorted we can go back into the pen tool stroke path select the brush and then yeah it just fills in the whole stroke for you and then you can of course delete the path and then you've got a, a, a stroked shape there another thing you can do with a pen tool is that if you have your shape like so but you feel like you want to add something to the shape but you've already closed the shape off you can go along these lines and as you can see next to the pen tool now is a plus sign and you can click on these lines here and what that does is it adds another anchor point in between this this path that we've made and then if you hold down the control button you can actually move this and this allows us to curve it so let's try it again up here you want to add it automatically comes up with a plus you can press the left click and it adds the anchor point and then if you hold down the control button as you can see the icon changes to a, a, a left click icon and that allows us to move the anchor point like so you can also hold down the control button and come to these circles here as you can see when you go over them they turn into a blue and these allowed us to pull these out and it just it just makes us you know we can we can adjust the curves just make sure everything's clean as well as adding anchor points we can also take away anchor points so this left this left corner here as you can see as you, when you go over anchor points that have already been placed um, before it was a plus icon now it's just simply a minus icon so if you click on that it gets rid of the anchor points so yeah hopefully that is just like a few basic things there's so much more in the pen tool as I said it in the beginning of the video it's a it's an advanced tool in Photoshop and there's so much 
that I could teach you on it, but this series is a beginner series, so I don't want to go like really, really too heavy on it. I just want this series to for people that have just downloaded Photoshop to be able to come on here and learn a few things. If you did want a like a really, really advanced tutorial on the pen tool, like me going through every single aspect that the tool has to offer, then just let me know. I'm going to warn you though that video would probably be like over half an hour long because yeah there, there, there would be so much to teach but hopefully you can pick these few basic things that I've shown you if you've never used the pen tool before these things here will allow you to start making your own custom shapes and yeah that's it if you have any other suggestions of any other tools you want me to just go through some basics for put it in the comments if you have any questions on the tool or you're stuck you can always hit me up in the comments, I always look, and I'll see you guys in the next video.